Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. I don't have a watch on that hand anymore, because I got one of these. I did pre-order the Apple Watch Ultra, and I have to say that since I haven't updated since the Apple Watch 5, it's a hell of an upgrade, and I'm digging it. A couple of things that they got right for me, they made it bigger, they made it rugged, they increased the battery life, they got that little night mode on there. So you just spin the crown and it goes red. Can't tell you how many times in the middle of the night I woke up to my watch blasting my freaking eyes into awakeness. I got this, picked this up yesterday morning. It finally got delivered and I threw it on the charger and I went through and I got rid of my old watch off the account, put the new one on, blah, 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 blah. Did all that shit, pissed around with it, got it all set up and ready to go. And that was after I had charged it to 100%. Then I dicked around all day, you know, playing with it and doing stuff <laughs> and finally went to my normal routine, which is at night when I come upstairs and I get ready for bed, I take my watch off and I put it on the charger. Then I go shower, then I lay there and I watch videos for a couple hours. And right before I'm ready to actually go to sleep, I put the watch back on and that way I track my sleep all night. Cause you know, I'm always telling you how, oh, the app tells me I had a shit night's sleep. I had a great night's sleep last night, by the way. I did that last night, charged it up, put it on about midnight, and it was at 100%. And right now, here we are about 19 hours later, and I'm at 78%. I mean, that's amazing. And I do stuff all day. I get texts, I, you know, all kinds of uh, alerts and things. I'm always checking the time and, um, you know, just using my watch the way I use it. By now, this thing would have been down to probably uh, below 30%. Now I'm going to charge it every night like I always do. That's just my routine. So I don't really worry about running out of power. Sometimes though, because I have one of those stupid like multi-device charger things, you know, and I hang my watch on it and I can put the phone down on it and, and blah, blah, blah. And sometimes it tips, it, it slides off and the watch doesn't get any juice. And then I get in like last week, I got in the freaking truck to, to go on my route and I looked down and I had like 15% battery life. I was like, shit. So I went in the trunk, I pulled out the, you know, the actual little charger cable thing and I plugged it in, in the front of the Forerunner and I just charged it for, for an hour while I was driving there and got back up to full power. But now that means with the addition of, the, which by the way, the little charger thing that, they, that it comes with now with the braided like cable and all that kind of stuff, really nice. I'm gonna have one for like home, one for the road and one that I could just throw in a bag and carry with me if for some unknown reason I run out of juice. Now, am I gonna be climbing mountains and diving into the depths of the ocean with this thing? Doubtful, but I will be going on hikes. I will be wrecking on my skateboard and you know, the usual dumb monkey shit. So it's nice to know that I've got a nice rugged watch. Totally digging it. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Monkey approved. It has been a crazy busy day. After I got up and made breakfast, doing some day job stuff, waiting for packages, this, that, and the other thing. One package that I had been waiting for was delivered. Part of what was delivered today was missing. So I called the company that I ordered this thing from and I was like, uh, yeah, got it, great, pretty happy, got here pretty quick. Problem is, you didn't put the damn battery in. And he's like, oh no. Long story short, rather than have them try to dig up a battery and send that to me separately, they just refunded me the 50 bucks that, that they felt the battery was worth. After I got off the phone with him, I immediately went on to Amazon and I ordered another one. So did that. And then I have been thinking a lot because my queen messed with me last week and told me that the sport coat I was wearing was too big for me. I had the sport coat that I ordered I was a lot fatter then, let's just put it that way. And it probably looked better on me then than it does now. Not that I'm not putting the weight back on because I've been eating like a freaking madman ever since I got done with that stupid colonoscopy, but that's another story. So I kind of got self-conscious about it and I realized, okay, I need to get a new sport coat. Cheapskate that I am, and here's where my wife comes in and says, you know, again, that I will buy a $4,000 camera without blinking an eye but try to get me to spend more than 25 bucks on a pair of jeans and it's like pulling teeth. So here we were again and I was like, well, let me go into my magical closet and see if you know my old sport coat will work. And she had bought me an Armani exchange jacket and I've had it for 
shit most of the time we've been together. She got it for me one year for Christmas. And it was because I had tried it on in, in the Armani Exchange store. And immediately I was like, damn, that feels great. And I actually think I look good in it. And she was like, as soon as you said that, I knew I had to get it for you because you don't like the way you look in anything. So the fact that you actually liked it. So she went back in and she bought it and gave it to me for Christmas. I wore that jacket to death, literally. It is completely torn up inside. I've, I've sewn it, I've had it sewn, I've had it repaired, but I think it's pretty much at the end of its life. Not to mention, I, I'm a little bit heavier than I was 15 years ago, so it just doesn't fit right anymore. So, I, all right, I'll go to the mall. I mean, actually, I found an Armani Exchange store here at, at this local outlet place, and I went and they didn't have jack shit. It was very disappointing. All they had were casual clothes. So I went to the Ralph Lauren store. All they had were casual clothes. I'm like, what the hell? Oh God, and that means I need to go to the mall. So I went to the mall and I went into Macy's and wouldn't you know it, I did a little loop around all the suits and the sport coats and all that shit. And I beamed in on this one coat and I was like, all right, that actually looks like it might work. And hey, they got my size. I put it on, fit me like a glove. And I actually looked at it and I thought it looked good. I took a picture, sent it to my queen and asked her what she thought. She said I looked stupid wearing it with shorts, but did it look like it fit all right? Then the final test, I went up to the older woman that was at the checkout counter and I asked her what she thought. And she said, it looks really good on you. I was like, okay, I'll get it. And I look up at the sign and I said, shit, it's a Ralph Lauren. It means it's gonna be expensive. And I'm like, but that's okay because I don't buy this kind of stuff very often okay, let's look at the price tag and shit myself and then, you know, compose myself and get up there and buy it. And I looked at it and it said $295. And I was like, $295, that's not that bad. But that sign says 30% off. But it says 30% off the original price and it says the original price was $395. So I pull out my phone because I don't do math and I add it up and it's like, $262. And I was like, well, shit, anything off of 300 is fine by me. But why does it say the original price is 395 when the tag says 295? And I was like, ah, whatever. So I went up to the counter and I decided to buy it. Now they had another sign there that said, if you went for a Macy's card, you got 20% off. So I said, hey, should I be doing that? And she said, no, absolutely not. Because you're gonna get more from the, the sale right now. And we have it at 30% off. And I was like, oh, you can't stack discounts. And she said, no, you can't. Like, okay, whatever. She was gonna do the 30% off of whatever the hell price it was gonna be. And then she said, oh, and then there's a coupon that I'll put on here for you as well. And I was like, oh, great. Bottom line, I got a $400 Ralph Lauren jacket for $148. Now, $148 is more than a $25 pair of jeans, but it's a Ralph Lauren jacket and it looks sharp and it fits me and I dig it. And I got over 50% off. Now that's the kind of thing that the monkey can get on board with. I'll buy clothes if I feel like I'm getting a really good deal and it looks good on me and I feel good about it, it's a done deal, regardless of whether it was gonna be full price or not. So I got a new Ralph Lauren jacket, yay. Okay, after that, came back home and I've been doing day job stuff and this stuff and that stuff and everything and I thought to myself, okay, I filmed like 20 times today and I don't like any of the footage, but I also realized I didn't post a video yesterday. I'm trying to sort of train you guys to realize that I'm not gonna be posting every day. Still not gonna talk about that until, until everything comes through, but it really looks like it's gonna come through, in which case I will be filming every day. That's all there is to it. So I'm trying to get you used to that. And there's a little bit of laziness happening there because I was pretty comfortable on the couch last night. So I thought, all right, I definitely need to film today. And I thought that I would throw in the second camera. All right, so I don't really have anything else to tell you. I just thought I'd blather on for 10 or 15 minutes about how I ended up having to go buy a jacket today and how I ordered something and it came without all the parts and, and I had to deal with that. And that's pretty much it. The last thing I will say is that I was looking forward to the fact that this coming weekend, starting on Friday, so Friday, Saturday, and into Sunday, is the annual Neptune Fest, which hasn't been here for a few years because of pandemic shutdown and whatever, and blah, 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 blah. So I was like, sweet, I'm gonna be here. Hell yeah, hell no. Doubt it's even gonna happen now because we are going to get the remnants of the hurricane that is going to be hammering Florida and it's supposed to be pretty awful here, I think maybe starting on Thursday, but Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and into next week. So no Neptune Fest, which means I'm gonna be sitting here like a caged animal and or 
if I can get away from my wife and she doesn't keep me from doing it, I'll likely load up some of my action cams and I'll go down to the ocean and try to film hurricane -y shit from the ocean like I did a few years ago. Now, when I did it a few years ago, the hurricane had pretty much missed us, but it had the ocean pretty jacked up for around here. And I went down there and had the time of my life filming. So hopefully that'll happen again. I hope everybody's gonna be safe, of course, but uh, you know, look out for dumb monkey being dumb. All right, that's all I've got for you today. I'm gonna stop blathering on. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember kids, forward and up.